Hello, Matthew Harper here, and there's Blue. And finally, after a hectic couple of weeks at the end of the summer, we're back into the, the routines again, writing regularly each day. Um, and now, today, while it's not raining, um, walking the dog, although the rain has been terrible the last couple of days, as is often the case. And um, I think the forecast is for rain the rest of the week. So I'm taking advantage of a proper walk with Blue today along by the canal. The field now, if you can see over there, that's the field where we walk um, in the summer. It's now been ploughed, much of it. Um, and so it's turned into a total quagmire. So not really suitable for walking on. And that probably won't be, the, you know, won't be able to walk over there really much until, um, I don't know, March or April now. It's been a couple of reasons why we've not been on a walk recently. First, um, I guess because we've been very busy and things have been going on, I've been off doing other things for some of the time. But secondly, poor old Blue has had a bad paw. Um, an infection, something stuck in it, maybe a grass seed or something, necessitated um, surgery and a couple of weeks of rehabilitation really. And so been it's quite difficult and always stressful when your doggy's poorly but um this is seems to be better now her foot's not completely and um, the hair hasn't completely grown back but um he's able to walk and is looking all right so hopefully he's back to his old self and this is one of the first walks we've taken of any distance um you know since he's recovered so hopefully he'll be all right and um, the other thing as i said i've been very busy done um, lots of stuff at the end of, oh, it was the beginning of September, um, went to the Historical Novel Society in Devon with Stephen A. Mackay um, as the roving podcasters with Rock Paper Swords, um, invited by the Historical Novel Society to go there and interview people and soak up the atmosphere. And that was great fun. And we interviewed loads of great people, you know, really interesting people, really great writers, including you know, Bernard Cornwell, Kate Quinn, um, Diana Gabaldon, um, and you know, Jane Johnson, loads of, loads of really, really brilliant writers, Michael Jacks, I'm just thinking of more and more names. If you want to um, listen to all those interviews we did, check them out on Rock, Paper, Swords. And if you want to watch videos, um, we've got the YouTube channel as well. So I'll put a link in the description to this so you can go and watch all of those. There's a Historical Novel Society HS 2024 playlist on that channel as well. So you can go and watch all those those videos. And um, if you haven't already, um, go off and subscribe to that channel and also um, potentially the uh, the audio podcast. Um, if you listen to podcasts when you're doing stuff like uh, doing the washing or driving your car or something, because we put all the podcasts out in audio format. Uh, Primarily, um, really, the videos being a, a special thing that we did, really for the um, for the conference. But um, usually, it's just. There's blue. <whistles> blue. Oh, there he is. Um, yeah, so we usually just do do audio. So yeah, so subscribe to that, and if you really want to support us as well um, and help pay for our upkeep or the upkeep and maintenance of the of the podcast and helping us get more guests on in the future and great guests then um, you can have a look at our patreon and, and consider having a look at, at that and anybody who supports me on patreon um thank you very much i already um really appreciate that after the um historical novel society conference a couple of days after that i was invited by chris bailey of uh the, His um, the bernard cornwall fan club um, to attend an invitation-only evening with Bernard Cornwell, which was incredible, in London, um, at the pub that's attached to the, says the Swan, attached to the, the Globe Theatre by the Thames. Lovely venue, never been on a Thames riverboat before, but I took a riverboat there, which has got to be the best way to arrive, and felt very Elizabethan, or the big motorboat as opposed to um, something a bit more sedate, but yeah, the idea of arriving by by river was was great. Well, 
And it was a wonderful night and I was really massively pleased to be invited. Um, so thank you very much to Chris for inviting me and I saw not only Bernard Cornwall there but um, met uh, Giles Christian there who I know and I've met several times before. It's always great to see him and um, Philip Stevens who's the guy that he works with and um, they write scripts together and things and they're also Philip Stevens does all of Giles's um, audiobooks. So I met him there for the first time. He's a lovely guy as well. So that was a brilliant night, um, but very, very tiring because of course it was a, a trip to London for me is a good couple of hours travel and then back in the same day. So long day, I went to the British Museum and um, which is always nice, but you know, it's a long day again. So it's a tiring week after the weekend at the conference. And then the day after that, I had an appointment at the dentist, or actually a dental surgery um, for the extraction of a tooth which I've had um, infected and problems with for months and months and months, probably years, um, which again, no, not, not fun, uh, well, the opposite of the Bernard Cornwell um, day out, it was not fun at all but also quite tiring. Um, that seems to be almost fully um, um, better now and healed up. And so back to firing on all cylinders. And uh, yeah, this is the first video I think I'll have put out for three or four weeks. But um, anyway, hope that explains to some extent why I've been so busy. And um, in the meantime now, I've been back to writing for well over a week, sort of focused now on the writing. And uh, I've done, I'm up to 60,000 words on the first draft of the new Hunlaf novel. The um, new Benicia Chronicles book 10 um, book Shadows of the Slain is all ready. I've been working um, with the cartographer, uh, map designer from Head of Zeus and the editor. We've been working on the edits and then the maps as well. So the maps are all done and dusted now as well. So that's all ready I think um, to go. Maybe there might be some proofreading left to go but pretty much that's done and dusted and ready to to go to print and that's out in December and yeah as I say I'm working now steadily on the Hunlaf book and um, no title for that one yet the working title is um, The Faith of Kings but um, I've no idea if it's going to stick or not because the publishers always have their own opinion and it may well be that that doesn't end up um, sticking, but um, yeah, it sees Hunlaf and company in the Holy Land um, in the Middle East and um, all sorts of exciting things happening. So I'm going to walk back home now and get on with that. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for all your support and um, look forward to the next time I, I chat with you. Bye.